In tonight's Elf Edge, for many people, starting the day usually includes that good old hot cup of joe. But for some, it includes maybe two or three cups. Say it, Curtis, maybe four. <laughs> oh, let's go with five. <laughs> and now you may be able to blame your genes if you have a coffee addiction. Uh, Dr. Parth and Andy joins us now with more on this one. I wish I could blame my genes for everything. Exactly, you can now, at least the coffee maybe, right? So a new gene identified by scientists in Italy may explain why some people are more responsible, responsive to caffeine. Now the gene is called PDSS2. Now researchers gathered two groups of volunteers from two countries well known for the love of coffee, right? Italy and the Netherlands. And coffee consumption and genetic results were compared and the people with the PDSS2 gene were inclined to drink less coffee than others. So who gets this? I mean, you know, when does the gene do Actually, this? Actually, 50 percent of, 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 you know, Europeans have this gene, and it, this gene may regulate the production of proteins that actually break down or metabolize uh, caffeine in the body and might control how quickly the body breaks down caffeine. Now, people with higher levels of this gene can break it down or metabolize caffeine slower, therefore drink less coffee. Those who had a lower expression of it, meaning the gene is less active, drank a lot more. So is it part of the culture that makes the gene active? And I, I think so. I think it's, it's a lot. So here's my prescriptions. If you need to stay awake with caffeine, do something else. Get up and move. Take a brisk 10-minute walk. It pumps oxygen and, and, and through your veins and brains and muscles. Number two, drink plenty of fluids. We always say that dehydration can make you tired and fatigued. Number three, eat healthy snacks and not bourbon. Uh, Curtis, <laughs> large meals can make you drowsy, can so healthy. eat smaller meals and healthy snacks for sustained energy. And lastly, exercise for 30 minutes each day is very effective at increasing energy and reducing your daytime fatigue. So there you go. Okay, push-ups before you brush your teeth. That'll work. That works just that like works the floor. That works very well. It's a little tougher than what I said. <laughs> we gotta talk can about do it. it. We'll talk about the bourbon gene next week. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> If you have a question or health concern for the doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. American families are facing